think so often theatre lets itself be self-aggrandising. If it has Bluetooth, it's probably not from outer space. It thinks it's good at telling stories, it thinks it's good at entertaining people, and I don't necessarily agree with that. So I suppose when I play, it's about the very act of sitting in a theatre show should be challenged. What if it's some kind of top secret AI self-flying thingy that broke out of the lab? The lab? Yeah. Yeah, things are always breaking out of there. This is the rehearsal room for UFO. UFO is a theatre show about a UFO that lands in a small country town on the golf course and four people watching it and taking in all the data. The show is presented as a film that is being created by the actors on stage. The actors hold cameras and they shoot little 3D models of themselves and whilst they're filming themselves, they talk as if they are themselves. I can't go through this again. Everybody needs to go right now. The audience get to watch the actors move themselves, film themselves and play themselves all at the same time. There's kind of multiple tracks in your mind the whole time you're performing. And you've got like actor track, camera track, model track. So it's tricky, but great. <laughs> Always exhausting, my arms are dead after every performance, holding up the camera, um, getting your hands into little nooks and crannies through the show. But I love working as a theatre maker rather than strictly as an actor. The miniatures, we 3D scanned the actors. I do it with my iPhone and then we created our own joins as if they're like puppets, like um, action figure puppets, and then 3D printed them at 1 6 scale. You can kind of push the elastic that runs through his structure to then move his head and limbs and all that sort of stuff. And then he can also detach at the waist. <laughs> Being able to give an inanimate object life is part of the fun of this. So you get a shot of it just looking straight ahead and you say something and then you move its head and you say something else. Suddenly it gives it expression. I think when you are performing with them, you are feeling something emotionally, but you're asking an audience to read what you're feeling onto this piece of plastic. So I think it's impossible not to have some sort of connection to it. I'm a part of a collective called Regroup Performance Collective. We make theatre together. Often the theatre involves video or filmmaking or a play on liveness, so the difference between the making of and the end product and what happens between that space. Are you doing a project on the death of Innistra? <laughs> yep. So Coyle is Steve's kind of brainchild. He came to us and was like, I want to do a show where there's a loop pedal with video. Oh. And so he plays every character in a film and then we reorder it and shuffle it and then we play that film live on stage and they've seen every part of the creative. There's no pre-recorded footage. I just put my foot in it. So there's another show that we've been working on as Regroup. It's called Autotune and it's an auto-tuned opera basically. You know that feeling that we have where we have to fix everything in our life or try and fix our mistakes we use as kind of like a layered metaphor. The auto-tune does it for the music which he's telling the story in. Yeah, you like auto-tune, the sound of mistakes being erased. UFO is a part of Regroup Performance Collective's work. This sense that like we can get closer to a large event is a really fun idea in UFO. Do you think that means anything? Um, no. In sci-fi, when a UFO lands, humans become heroes. Humans like step up and take on the aliens or step up and become the best scientists they could be. And we really wanted to explore what a real human would be like in the face of a UFO or what we thought we might be like. And so it started to be about like the anti-hero, the anti-blockbuster. Like how do we make a movie that isn't about taking action but rather about what it is to be a human in inaction. They've probably forgotten we're even out here. Maybe if we wait a little bit longer, the next person will have some more paper.
I definitely love pushing the form, but also pushing people's expectations of what they're coming to when they come to see theatre. Like, I don't want this to be like another theatre show that people have seen. What is your job exactly? Measurements. It should be you sitting there going, what am I watching? What am I a part of? Those questions I want to get them to start asking so that it can kind of then lead to the questions that the show is asking. I don't want to mess with this thing anymore. Can you please turn the phone off? So I'm kind of interested in like how a film can push the liveness of theatre, but also how theatre can also push the film back, like it should be a play between them and it's interesting to explore that space.